guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys another little DIY, of course. I love DIYs. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to make your own... Oh, my ear. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own charcoal black head remover mask. I think that's what it's called. I am going to show you guys what I do use for my face. Um... The Biore Charcoal Cleanser. I feel like this does really, really work. It does clean my face really well. Um, I've never really paid attention if it does get out all my blackheads, but it probably does. Um, all I know is it has charcoal, and I know charcoal is really good for you. I think it's even good to whiten teeth. But anyways, I use this. Um, I've been using this for a while now, and it does tingle while it's while you're like cleansing your face so if it tingles I feel like it is working so I really do like this I would recommend this if you guys want a good facial cleanser um I don't know if it says only at night or in the morning doesn't matter yeah I don't think it matters I use it in the day and at night every time so this is a good product another little product that I use for my blackhead since I am doing a blackhead removal mask is this Biore One Deep Cleansing Pore Strip I don't have the box with me, but this is how it looks like, and then you see the focus. But yeah, this is how it looks like when you open it up. It has the little shape of your nose. Um, actually, do do like these. I'm always going to keep repurchasing these. I have heard they're bad for you. I haven't really read too much into them, but I don't care. It really does work. So for the little masks that we're going to be making, all you really need is Elmer's school glue or glue whatever make sure it is non-toxic though um you can get this literally anywhere probably the dollar store for like a few cents i actually got this at walmart i think it was like a dollar and then these charcoal caps so it's charcoal in a little capsule and we're just going to break it apart and use the charcoal inside um i didn't find these at target but i did find them at walmart so i haven't looked anywhere else if you guys want to, I will, and I'll leave it linked down below for any other websites. But other than that, I know they do sell them at Walmart. And ooh, this is how they look like. It's pink. You can kind of see the black coming through. That's what we're going to break and pour the charcoal in. So the only two ingredients you need to make this mask is literally glue. So I'm going to go ahead and wash all this makeup off and make sure my face is entirely clean. Then I'm going to show you guys how to make this super simple mask. Alright, so I'll be back later. I'm going to go wash my ugly face. Alright guys, so I finally took off all my makeup. I look hideous. My face feels so dry. I, I'm one of those people that always needs lotion on their entire body. So right now I'm like... I need my lotion. So to make this DIY charcoal blackhead remover mask, you guys are going to need some of these. I am just going to use two capsules for my entire face because I really need to get rid of all this crap around my nose. So we'll see how well it works. And then you're just going to need some of the Elmer's washable school glue. Make sure that you do get non-toxic glue. And then what I'm going to be mixing it with is this cute little thing that's actually to I don't know spread eggs I don't know it's from the kitchen I'm just being really ghetto and just grabbed whatever it is that I had downstairs um and then just obviously a simple little bowl to add everything together this is super simple literally all I'm gonna do is pour some glue break up the two capsules put it on my face wait about 10-15 minutes until I feel it's super hard Peel it all off. You guys are going to be able to see that and then show you guys if it works or not. So, let's get this little mask started. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead take some of the glue. I'm just going to open up the cap all the way. Ah! And then pour some in there. Alright, and next I'm going to use a little capsules. I'm only going to use two, so... Let me break open this thing. Alrighty. I don't know how messy this is going to get. But. Oh crap. It's kind of hard. So just twist. Yeah, I'm scared. Ah! Well that was messy. 
All right, make sure you get it all out. All right, and the next one. It doesn't smell like anything, that's good. So this is how it looks, super dark and really gross. I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, and then we're just going to mix this all together till you get a really black pasty type of mixture. So this is how it should look, super black, very pasty like, and honestly it shouldn't smell funky, if anything all you should really smell is the glue. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply it, let me get my mirror. Alright, I'm kind of scared but I'm just going to apply it with this. So I was going to, you guys can use your fingers or a brush but I'm just going to use this and probably my fingers. It does feel cool, nice, cold, and refreshing. I knew I'd get messy. Oh, and make sure you wear a really ugly, dirty shirt that you don't like, just in case. Ah, I'm scared to get it on my eyebrows. I don't know why. So I do have enough to maybe add more layer onto it. This is how it should look. <laughs> I look hilarious. To be honest, I don't know where the hell I'm gonna start peeling it from. I'm really scared. Around my lips, I can kind of feel it harden already, and uh, I could just already imagine the pain. So now I'm kind of like, what the hell am I doing to my face? But I really, really hope I get all these cool blackheads out. Not cool. I hope I get all these blackheads out because. I don't want that. I should have worn a headband or something. <sighs> so fun. Alright, I'll check back in a little. Alright guys, so I can't even like talk. So this has been after... Look at that. Jeez. Oh, I think maybe... I can't talk. I'm probably going to have to voice over, but... I think I added way too many layers because I can barely like, oh, uh, my face just feels so freaking pu pulled back and like tight. All right, so I'm just gonna start from the bottom and pull up. I'm trying to find a spot to start. Okay, ow. Ah! All my little peach fuzz is coming off, I think. <sighs> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know why I added it on my whole face. I'd recommend for you guys to take it off slowly because this thing freaking hurts. Or it depends, I guess, how many layers you add. I'm eating this crap. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, my freaking hairs are getting stuck to it. <gasps> oh my god. Ooh, my eyebrow. Alrighty. Let me check this out real quick. All right, guys, so I can finally take it off. It was really hard for me to get a picture or record it up close. I don't know why the camera was not picking it up, but I did get a picture of it on my iPhone. So I will insert that right now so you guys can see. It really did clean my entire nose off. 
Yeah, I really recommend this mask. I'd probably only recommend once again on your nose if that's where you know you get most blackheads. It did kind of hurt, but beauty is pain, right? And don't you guys want a pretty soft nose instead of nasty little bumps? So, hope you guys like this DIY. And don't forget to share this video, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys have done this or if you know some other cool masks that maybe I should try out. So, see you guys next time. Bye!